<laughs> We're here because of responsibility. A responsibility on part of the university to do us right. And responsibility on behalf of us to show them how they're wrong and to argue for what's right. I'll admit it, I'm really scared. I don't know whether we'll be able to beat ourselves up with fossil fuels or not. But the best place we can start, together, is by withdrawing our money and our respect from the oil, gas, and coal companies lobbying every damn day to keep the system in place. As a wealthy institution, we must take every feasible action to reduce our own emissions. But we must also refuse to support companies making sure that ordinary people can't afford to. It is not enough to speak truth to power. We must also ensure that power listens. We will continue to build support from the University of Chicago community and beyond until the endowment is divested of fossil fuels. Stop Funding Climate Change is a campaign on this campus that's existed for more than two years now. Over those, the course of those two years, we've passed a referendum with 70% of undergraduate support. We've drafted a 59-page report and delivered it to the president. We've met several times with administrators. One of those in one of those meetings last year, uh, Darren Riesberg, the secretary of the university, promised us that he would secure a meeting between a couple representatives from the campaign and one or more members of the board of trustees. Later on this year, Mr. Riesberg walked back in his promise, saying that this was a, a quote unquote inappropriate form of engagement. So today we've come to um, express our displeasure with Mr. Riesberg's decision and um, hope that he will um, reconsider dishonoring his promise. Uh, I think we communicated effectively. Four of us, Johnny, Kristen, Kenzo and I were upstairs. Uh, we spoke to a few administrators, someone from Campus and Student Life, the Dean on Call, uh, maybe a couple others. They weren't giving us much. Uh, they were being very cordial but we learned that Darren Riesberg was not, supposedly not, in the office. Uh, we were told he was unavailable at meetings somewhere else. Uh, so our backup plan was to leave our documents with him, which is what we did. And so we told him we expect to hear from him by Tuesday at 6 p.m. In the documents that we gave him, we said we expect a meeting with some, some engagement with the Board of Trustees uh, by June 30th of this year. If he does not um, come through on um, returning this certificate of acknowledgement, we will escalate further. Um, and we are also going to launch a um, much broader PR campaign to get our message out to the student body.